here at the Chocolate Lady, I create all my own original distinctive chocolates, artisanal and old-fashioned favorites. Um, we celebrate the legacy of the Chocolate Lady, who was my original great aunt on my dad's side. And she made recipes from Europe that we celebrate her legacy here. And it's truly a experience when you come into the Chocolate Lady. So I trained as a fine artist at School of Visual Arts. I'm a graduate from there and uh, became a chef. And when you kind of put the two together, the world collides in the form of chocolate paintings and sculptures. It's a very unique. Um, I think I'm one of three or two in the world that does the type of work that I do. I created a formula. It took me 10 years in the making to perfect this edible paint that looks beautiful, that paints like oils or acrylics or watercolor, depending upon the technique that you're trying to do. And you can eat it. And it looks beautiful. Um, and I named the formula 1210 to celebrate that on December 10th of that year, the formula was perfected and I create these beautiful, one-of-a-kind edible works of art. We do ship worldwide. I mean, some of our best clients are in Thailand, so our chocolate's going, literally going around the world and having that experience. But being an artist, I have that love of art and the respect for fine arts and wanted to get together and show a chocolate lady support to the different art communities on Long Island and particularly in Oyster Bay. So we want to create a children's lab where school trips can come and you, kids can create their own chocolate bar and feel really empowered about learning about chocolate and making their own chocolate and having this, this educational environment for people to come and it's a museum but it's, it's an edible museum so very unique and uh, hopefully have different exhibitions going on, some of which would be my chocolate paintings and portraits and the rest uh, filling the place, literally.